I am Shane Needham. I'm co-founder and chief scientific officer of Alturas Analytics. We are a bioanalytical CRO that's focused on LCMSMS and GCMSMS bioanalysis. So at Alturas Analytics, I'm co-founder and chief scientific officer, and those roles go hand in hand, but they are a little bit different. As chief scientific officer, I work very closely with our science team and our marketing team to understand what do our sponsors need for new assays, new technologies, new developments. What do they need so we can create better assays for them that will be higher quality, more sensitivity, and actually faster as well to get them the turnaround times that they want even quicker, but still have that high quality. And so I work closely with the scientific team to develop new technologies, work with vendors, um, and vendors work with us to see what those new technologies are. So whether it be microflow or um, sample preparation for large molecule bioanalysis, many different things, micro sampling. Vendors come to us and we work closely with them and I work close with our scientific team to make sure that those technologies are applicable to our assays and our sponsors can use them. Probably originally interested in me in mass spectrometry was as an undergraduate doing studies in the laboratory is I saw the power of GCMS. And the power of GCMS, whether it be for environmental applications or petroleum applications or whatever it was, I could see how selective that tool was and see that it was almost unequivocal information that you could use to make decisions with environmentally or um, in the food industry, whatever it was, to move some kind of a product forward. And that was really exciting. And then after my undergraduate studies, I my first position was at Pfizer in Groton, Connecticut, in their research headquarters at that point. And I was working with a great LCMS group there in the, in the biological department in, of drug metabolism. And it was great because we worked in the first industry sold Cyx API 3 plus in the industry. And so that was really, really fun to work in that in a good group. And I could just see the power of connecting HPLC, the selectivity and the versatility of HPLC with a high vacuum mass spectrometer. That was incredible at the time. Yeah, some of the key technologies that we're using now in our biological laboratory are microflow LCMS. We've been doing that for many years. We're one of the leaders in the industry in that area. And Microflow has been a, a really good tool for us, not only to improve the sensitivity of assays, but especially as, as things such as microsampling come on board and smaller samples are available, it really, it's coupling small sample analysis with Microflow and with really the advantages of low flow with ESIMS. And so that's been very, very key to us. And we also use those technology, that technology, Microflow, in conjunction with now what's really growing in our laboratory, large molecule bioanalysis. I spoke of some of the advantages of those techniques. Again, I think everything in the industry, I really globally, is starting to become smaller and smaller. We want to use less and less, and so we want to use less sample. We want to inject less. We want to we want to use less solvents, and so that's one reason microflow is being used, and it's really good in conjunction with large molecule bioanalysis. And so that's the advantage: is we get we improve sensitivity, we reduce solvent costs, we reduce we reduce solvent usage. That's always green. That's really good for the environment, and it's good it's good economically. The disadvantages are when ever you apply a new technology in a regulated biological laboratory there has to undergo a development phase um, a also is this going to work phase you know what is this going to work in our laboratory how is it going to work and can we validate it and how do we replace our current assays that are not microflow that we have thousands of assays with how do we maybe slowly revalidate some of those assays if it's necessary and so it's just a, a slow process i think that's good it slows us down and it makes us make good decisions and 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 we can use those technologies with large molecule bioanalysis and the same thing is that it's it's such a growing application now with large molecule bioanalysis LCMS that we're constantly learning how to improve selectivity whether it be whether it be offline separation immunocapture online or offline um, even solid phase extraction techniques immunodepletion all kinds of things that what can you do to make that assay better and so really the advantages outweigh the disadvantages as we as we move forward but really it's in a regulated environment how do we make sure that these tools that we're using are going to be also applicable five years from now. I see the continued use of more 
micro techniques, whether it be micro sampling, micro flow. I think again, globally, not only in our own pharmaceutical industry and the biolinical industry in general, but things are miniaturizing. Things are becoming smaller. We're using less and less, and that's a really good thing. So I think micro flow LCMS MS is going to become even more popular, and I think that's a really good thing. I think integrated sources with integrated HPLC is going to become more popular. I think that, again, that's part of the miniaturization, I believe. So micro flow is a huge part of that. Maybe even nano flow will start being more acceptable. I think that's probably possibly more than 10 years down the road as far as in our current regulated biological field. And so that's what's going to continue. And I think especially large molecule analysis, whether it be new biological entities, biomarkers, whatever it is. And it might be the top-down approach, middle, middle approach, middle up approach, or the, the bottom up approach is we're going to see a lot more LC MSMS applications of large molecule analysis.